fighting and rioting on the cobblestone streets in the historic district of San Juan, Puerto Rico. Anger directed at the governor, they say, disrespects his own people. The protesters are furious after nearly 900 pages of Governor Ricardo Rosselló's private text messages were leaked publicly last week. Messages that were vulgar and sexist, some that made fun of obese people, mocked political opponents, and seemingly joked about the thought of killing the female mayor of San Juan. He's admitted the messages were his and apologized, but said he won't step down. So the people are trying to force him out. He hasn't been the, the best governor, but when those texts got leaked, we know that he hit right, rock bottom. Like, there's no way that this guy could continue governing Puerto Rico. We need a strong leader. We need someone to, to guide us in the right way. What started as small protests have turned into huge street demonstrations with tens of thousands of people now protesting from all walks of society. Young people, old people, even people that belong to the governor's political party now all out here with the same message, not asking him to step down, but now demanding it. It's the worst political crisis in Puerto Rico's history. Two cabinet members who took part in the texting, including the Secretary of State, have resigned. But being mocked and ridiculed by their leader has seemingly united three million Puerto Ricans against Rosselló. But I've never seen something that connects us in such a deep and, and social level. It's not about politics, it's about our people and our humanity that's been slapped in the face time and time again and we've had enough. With a government caught in scandal over text messages and the people saying the only way out is for the man who sent them to leave. Gabriel Ozondo, Al Jazeera, San Juan, Puerto Rico.